and welcome to another Chatty Wednesdays with me. On my previous Chatty Wednesday video, I had this comment from Robin. Thanks, Robin, for this lovely comment. Um, and uh, I'm going to take that and I'm going to run with it. It would be my pleasure to tell you about some of the stuff that's been going on for me this summer. I've had a very eventful summer already. It's not even over yet. It's August now. But uh, yeah, June, July, August been a crazy time. So I would love to tell you about some of the stuff I've been doing this summer and I also have a little snippet of me performing at Glastonbury that I haven't really shared anywhere and I don't know why because I'm really proud of it. Now's my time. So Glastonbury 2022. First of all this was the first Glastonbury since 2019. Glastonbury 2020 was obviously cancelled and then they also made the decision to cancel Glastonbury 2021. Very heartbreaking. Um, I was not expecting to have as good a time at Glastonbury as I did. I was a bit disappointed with the lineup. I was a bit worried that I wasn't going to enjoy it, but I had a ticket. I bought a ticket back in October of 2019. I was uh, prepared to go to Glastonbury 22, whoever was headlining. Then, leading up to Glastonbury, I got a message from two of my good friends, Daisy Chute and Kerry Ann. They sent me a message to say that they would be taking Herd Collective to Glastonbury 2022 and they asked me if I would join them on stage as part of Herd Collective which was such an honour and I was so grateful and I was like yes please thank you 100% yes I'm there. So that meant that I was doing three sets with Herd Collective and a solo set as well um, in the Green Futures field which is uh, sort of the like hippiest bit of Glastonbury. It's like right up my street, it's all flowers and eco-friendly and peace and love and joy and it's great and I love it there. So I was very at home performing in the Green Futures field at Glastonbury. So at this point I was already planning on going and Connor and I had already booked a coach and that was going to be arriving on Thursday but as I was now an artist performing at Glastonbury, I was able to access the site early on Tuesday, which I really wanted to take advantage of. I'd love to be at Glastonbury for longer if possible, and also I wanted like to load in my stuff comfortably, which the artists have like access to get on site, drop like unload their equipment and stuff like that. So I wanted to take that opportunity. My friend Sharika, part of the Herd Collective, was driving, so I managed to grab a lift. We both live in South London, so I managed to get a lift with Sharika. We had a great road trip out to Glastonbury and I will move on to the following day. On Wednesday we had our first performance as a Herd Collective. We played in the Mandala Tent in the Green Futures field. If you don't know much about Herd Collective uh, they do a sort of songwriters round um, of all female lineups so um, we each took it in turns to sing one of our original songs and then we also sang a song together. <laughs> journey uh, as performers. Immediately after we did the performance um, on the Mandala stage, I had an interview on Sky News. And I'm standing there with the guitar, not to get a little bit of music from you. Is that really cheeky to ask you? We've got a break coming up. If you could give us a little tune all. as we go into the break, it just feels right, if that's all right, Charlotte. And I'll say thank you. Yes, absolutely. Charlotte Campbell, thanks very much indeed. Thank Take it so away. Much. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thanks a lot. All right. Well, as you said earlier, I, I, I started off busking on the street, so this is a little song I wrote about being a busker on the streets of London. I'm making waves today, I'm making waves, telling stories about yesterday, singing ba ba ba. I just got a text out of the blue from someone saying, hey, I got your number from someone else um, and I work at Sky News and I saw that you're at Glastonbury and would you be willing to do an interview about being a performer at Glastonbury and also about the atmosphere of the festival as it's been delayed for two years. We'd love to chat to you about that. So um, very kindly, Her Collective came with me and we rushed up this massive hill. Everybody had blisters, everyone was tired, it was hot. And we rushed over to do this interview. It was very, very sweet of them to come with me. Um, and Daisy Toot was really lovely. It's sort of like my 
pushy mum, but in a great way, uh, telling me to like hold the. I was I was just gonna do the interview, and Daisy was like, hold the guitar, hold the guitar. It was really really sweet of her because I was really nervous. So uh, yeah, that was really great. That was a great experience. That was the Wednesday. Um, also, if you've never been to Glastonbury before, one of the great things that happens on the Wednesday night is there are fireworks. <laughs> And a lot of people arrive on the Wednesday so the buzz starts to really grow and it's just really really great atmosphere so I went up to the top of the park stage which is kind of like where try people try and go and watch the fireworks but it was absolutely packed and we couldn't even we couldn't even get close but we managed to get a really good spot to watch the fireworks and the sunset and it was beautiful it was really great then Herd Collective had another show at midnight on the Toad Hall stage so uh, I had to rush back and the crowds were just insane and it was so hard to get back there and I just made it back in time everybody had rushed from somewhere else we were all a little bit tipsy it was so funny to kind of all come back together after we'd done this like civilized lunchtime show on the Wednesday and then we came back together for this midnight show on the Wednesday and we were all so hyped and buzzing how are you feeling Shriga? <laughs> are you buzzing Jenny? buzzing <laughs> and it was a great show it was maybe the best show we did it was so so lovely after the show everyone was like knackered and just wanted to go straight to bed except for me and Carrie Ann who were kind of like I still feel like really pumped up from the show so we went on a little midnight walk or it would have been later than midnight 1am walk um which we really really enjoyed and uh, I don't know if she's watching this hi Carrie Ann um but that was uh, one of my favorite memories of Glastonbury was just going on this little midnight 1am walk with, with Carrie Ann to get a cheese toasty loved it. I woke up on the Thursday and I was so excited because Connor was joining me on the Thursday. Um, I had obviously gone early with Sharika and the Herd Collective um, but Connor took our original coach ticket um, and arrived on the Thursday which you know in some ways he missed out. In other ways he kind of got a sweet deal because he didn't have to bring his tent or set up the tent. I set the tent up slash Jenny Colquitt helped me. <laughs> um, so he, when he arrived the tent was already set up. I already had our bed I'd sorted all of our campsite out and everything. So that was really great um, and it was so lovely to see him. Then on the Thursday we had another Herd Collective performance at the Mandala stage and this time we were ready. We were there in really good time. We decided instead of having one guitar each, four guitars on stage and a harp and a banjo and we just decided no let's have the harp, the banjo and then one guitar we can share between us. So that's what we did and that worked so much better, it was so much slicker and the Mandala show was really good. I felt like it was a really good end show for the Hair Collective because we really, we were really slick, we were really together, we knew each other's songs a little bit, we could harmonise with each other and it just, it went really well. I was really really happy, everybody did well, everybody was well received um, and here's a little snippet of my performance on our final show at the Mandala stage. Oh, if you're not doing so well, it's only you who can tell. So don't you think that it would be so much easier not being hard on yourself? So don't be so hard on yourself. So as I said, I did three Herd Collective performances and then I had a solo performance which was on the Sunday evening which was a really nice way to close out the festival for me. Lots of my friends came to watch and support my set. Did you all say, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I played 45 minutes of my own songs and the audience was so warm and receptive and was so interested in hearing more about my music and taking my cards and have like got in touch since being like saw you at Toad Hall, like really enjoyed it, hoping to catch you on the South Bank or whatever. So I've got lots, gained lots of new fans and I was just so grateful to be up there on stage at Glastonbury. It was amazing. Such a great weekend. It was so perfect and I can't wait to go back next year. I want to do a huge shout out to the Herd Collective, Daisy Chute especially. Um, she organised so much for that Glastonbury and to like get us all there and also gigged her arse off at that weekend. She was gigging like, it felt like she was doing 10 gigs a day. It was amazing. She is an icon and I love her and I want to thank her and Carrie Ann so much for inviting me to come and perform as part of Herd Collective. My battery is going to die so I think I'm going to finish this here and say thank you so much for watching and listening to my little story about Glastonbury. I'm really enjoying coming back to YouTube, uploading these chatty Wednesdays. Please do let me know in the comments anything you'd like me to chatty Wednesday about. I'd love to uh, tell you my stories. Suggestions welcome for content for future videos and I will see you soon. Bye. <laughs>
happiness to me Set in the scene I am exactly where I'm meant to be Out in the sun Even the rain will be just as fun Cause when all said and done I will remember this for years to come Whoa. Let the sun shine down on us Let the rain fall drip by drip I hope we find ourselves back here someday Can we stay like this? Every road It leads us where we need to go And we're on our way home These will be memories